Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 16.257 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And we're getting close to the release of the full creators update, or the, the final version that will go out to consumers. We're not there yet. We've still got the build string, and there's still issues with this build. We haven't got to the stage where there's sort of no known issues yet, or a few known issues that they can publish with and fix with a patch. So what's new in this build? Well, the main thing that... Uh, Microsoft are uh, announcing is the eye control using the Toby eye tracker for uh, uh, eye tracker for C. So the idea be behind that is you can it, this with this camera it can track your eye and then uh, Windows then has the eye tracker option in there. Um, so you can, as you've seen here, use your eye to effectively control Windows by looking at what you want to launch and then with this launcher. I can't show you that at the moment because I don't have the eye tracker uh, device, but I think it's important and feature that they're adding here for accessibility options. So I'd recommend reading the blog post on uh, the Windows uh, blog.windows.com on the Windows Insider program to find out a bit more about that, and I'll include a link on the digitallifestyle.com. So where else has changed? Well, the first thing you may notice here in Microsoft Edge is the Fluent Design using this um, acrylic material. So it's semi-transparent you can see through here the windows background just slightly showing through rather than just a gray panel um, and that's that acrylic uh, uh, material that they're using on many of these um, apps now so you can kind of see it through there as well and you can see it even more clearly when i open that up so that's good to see i also found as well the the um launching new tabs and general performance of Microsoft Edge seems a lot faster and uh, smoother than the previous build and I think that's to do with the way they've changed some of the animations and things. Um, so they fixed issues. Um, oh, one thing they've done with the address bar is they've changed how the focus works on that. I think now it also defaults to the, l to the left as, as he says as it goes to the right. I tried this before. I think, or maybe on long URLs, it defaults. Yeah, maybe something like that. Um, they fixed some issues with right clicking. They fixed issues with opening in full screen mode and some other uh, changes. Some other thing, something else that they've done is um, change the color support to full 24-bit color for the Windows console. So these colors. That you can choose from. I've got the full Windows 24-bit uh, color support now. You can see this on Microsoft's blog post where they show that that new scheme. There's a there's a special there's a full blog post on it on the command line blog. Uh, Insiders won't see the changes to that immediately because you only see it if you do a clean build of the, a, a clean install of this build. Otherwise, um, for com compatibility mode reasons, they're retaining the current color scheme. So there you can see the legacy and there's the new scheme. So just slight subtle changes. And there's some other bits and pieces. They've improved the launching of the touch keyboard after typing the touch keyboard button in the taskbar. There you go. Um, they fixed some issues with Windows H. They take into a UWP app. They fixed some Japanese input uh, as, as well. Um, they fixed some things like the battery remaining that wasn't showing. Uh, that was showing as like a percentage string and that wasn't showing correctly. They think some issues with storing spaces, narrator, defender, and uh, VPN as well. So there's still some known issues. Action Center may not always show, uh, show the toast experience and all the pop ups, and uh, where they, they also there they could be an issue where you haven't really got 19 notifications. Um, You've only got one or something like that, but so they're, they're looking at that as well. And um, if you hit an issue uh, with error code 8007057, um, when you're still in the Windows Store app, as a, uh, you may see that, uh, that error. And there is a, wor a workaround by uninstalling the old version of the app and reinstalling the latest version from the store. So those are the main changes. Really, uh, we are getting closer to the release version, so they are polishing this app. And I think this acrylic is a good example of that and color schemes. Uh, Interesting to see the, the eye tracking. I think that's going to be very interesting going forward. 
And that's it for this build. So uh, keep watching on the digitallifestyle.com for new builds. And um, not long off the final release now of the Fall Creators update.